subscribe to our youtube channel for in-depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nirmal Banga. I'm Nirmal Badia. We have with us Ria Singh, technical analyst. Currently, is joining in. Uh, welcome to the show, Ria. My first question coming to you is as to what's happening with the Indian rupee. Now, appreciation is what we are seeing in the last couple of trading sessions. And in fact, I was talking to uh, Sanjeev Sanyal as well, who was, uh, you know, actually indicating. that this is something which the government is also supporting there is intervention coming in from the rbi at current levels and they have been trying their best to stabilize it now do you think this appreciation that we are seeing right now is something that could continue yes hello uh, here so yes we are witnessing a, a strengthening of rupee uh, from uh, quite few sessions see the volatility in the currency has gone up tremendously okay and if you look at the past few months of the rupee momentum now we have seen the uh, uh, we have seen rupee to trade very uh, narrow uh, you know into a very narrow range uh, of around 75 50 74 levels now why this was happening from past few months was because rbi was intervening okay uh, with the constant uh, Uh, uh he was uh, the rbi was intercepting the uh, appreciation of the rupee uh, as soon as it was nearing the 74 levels with its constant buying up dollars and building up the forex reserve now uh, like you said but uh, i like to point out that surprisingly central bank is not intervening right now the recent climb of rupee against the dollar and uh, you know they are letting the uh, rupee to appreciate uh, uh, rbi is not intervening into this uh, you know appreciation that we are witnessing right now but uh, they are letting uh, the rupee to find its own common ground and to let it determine uh, you know to determine the value of its own so uh, because the rbi is not intervening in the current appreciation we are seeing quite a fall we have not seen rupee testing the 73 levels uh, from the time of march when it starts uh, started to climb up so also the other reason is the F, F, uh, you know the fpi have invested around uh, 6589 crores into the indian domestic front uh, with the continue and with the continued capital inflows returning to the emerging market rupee is likely to continue Uh, to strengthen against the dollar as long as rbi does not come into the picture and uh, you know uh, intervene in the appreciation of the rupee so as long as rbi sits from afar uh, the current momentum is likely to continue for the rupee and it can uh, test 72 83 7215 the coming session right so that's with regards to the indian rupee is concerned now with that rbi if you go to see the terms of yesterday's data especially what came out uh, in terms of the gdp numbers go it's the worst number in fact it's worse than what the street was anticipating as well now with the recovery road looking ahead central bank action is something we are watching out for how will it impact the momentum with regards to the rupee because clearly now the onus is that the government is all ready to accelerate from here on and kick start the economy and that's the kind of cues that we have been picking up uh see uh, to take into the picture the whole economic outlook of india now if you uh, yes the india posting the worst gdp slump is now uh, is uh, leading the country on a track for an uh, year contraction okay uh the economy was uh, if you look at the previous scenario it was you know the indian economy was already stuck struggling with the crisis which was led by the banks you know uh, and uh, it was already hurting the new loans and taking toll on the consumption and with the hit of the pandemic resulting into the lockdown of business accelerated the slowdown and uh, you know recession situation so uh, also if you look at the aid that was received from the government uh in term of fiscal support has been limited given the constraints of the economy uh, you know uh, of the uh, 
economic growth and you know government is likely to have uh, you know taking into consideration the uh, spending that they have done they have you know exhausted and breached its budget uh, deficit in the first four months of the current fiscal year and they are now even facing an addition uh, deficit of seven percent from the targeted uh, deficit tar uh, uh, deficit uh, percentage target that they had uh, because uh, because of this lockdown measures and the export uh, going into a shutdown, we are uh, experiencing a collapse in the revenue receipt. Mm. Now talking about the RBI, okay, so the central bank uh, uh, action that we have seen so far, uh, slashing of 115 basis point and resulting into the liquidity uh, inflow and flush uh, I don't. I am not seeing any recovery into the economy so far. Yes, uh, they have even surpassed the inflation uh, target of two percent to six percent. If you look at the inflation numbers that was released, uh, so all in all, uh, there has been early signs of the pickup in the economic activity due to the easing of the lockdown, the recovery that we, uh, you know, the recovery. But uh, the numbers that uh, are showing it is clearly indicating that the uncertainty with the, with respect to the economic pickup is uh, remaining still high and uh, with the uh, tremendous uh, pickup in the virus in infection it is not helping the uh, economy scenario at all so all in all if you take into the picture we are currently into a v-shaped recovery a better performance can be expected uh, in the subsequent quarters due to the pent up demand okay but uh, there is a substantial risk to these gains because uh, we are seeing quite a uh, you know uh, quite a exhalation of the virus situation right now so uh, talking about the gdp numbers going forward there has been a revision uh, on uh, in the gdp numbers uh, the, that the contraction can now range from around 10.8% to 8% uh, from the early estimation of 6% so growth recovery will tremendously be dependent on how the process with respect to the curb of the COVID spread and the removal of the lockdowns progresses. And the current GDP numbers have put an immense pressure on the government as well with the fiscal deficit passing the targets and borrowings on the high. It will have to make a very hard choice uh, as to which side will it push, the consumption, uh, consumption side or the in investment side so uh, the factors will continuously weigh on the rookie momentum as well uh, now uh, looking at the what uh, uh, steps that the rbi can take uh, into the coming uh, you know uh, quarters due to the inflation uh, surpassing the uh, given targets the chance of rbi going forward with the rate cuts have dimmed quite a bit so that is one factor that can weigh on to the economic recovery as well. And uh, the constant, uh, you know, the factors that we have uh, discussed so far on this uh, uh, will weigh on the rupee, uh, rupee momentum and will make it volatile at least for the coming uh, two months. It will continue to face steep correction as well as gain uh you know coordinating with the progression of how these discussed factors will uh, carry themselves or will progress in the timeline so i think uh, rupee momentum has quite surpassed its previous nature where it was just you know there was uh, just a momentum of 15 paise 20 paise and there was a sluggish upside or uh, you know even uh, towards the appreciation i think it will remain highly volatile for the coming months right and overall, we have the dollar index as well, which has easily breached uh, in terms of, you know, 92 levels. Do you think this pressure is expected to continue? Uh, dollar index is actually, yeah, it will remain under pressure because if you look at the current development on the US side, the Federal Reserve has now shifted it, uh, its focus on tackling the issue of unemployment and to boost growth. So this has led to the speculation that the accommodative stance that the Fed has maintained since the outbreak of the pandemic may be nearing the term. So the fate, the fall of more than 100 basis points that we have seen in the dollar index is indicative of this. Now, uh, the shift 
that uh, they have recently done into the policy by keeping the interest rate rock bottom uh, for the coming quarters is partly also responsible for the weakness that we are seeing into the greenback. And the policy uh, that they have introduced have, uh, you know, the outline of those policies have, have not been uh, uh, released yet. Uh, how these, uh, you know, uh, they will progress uh, uh, with the inflation target and how will, you know, they achieve those inflation target with the coming uh, quarters. Uh, it is still fuzzy. The line is still fuzzy as to how uh, Fed will uh, take into various steps to achieve these, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, targets that they have set. So this has resulted into quite a confusion within the, uh, you know, investors and uh, within the market, which has led to this quite a momentum dip that we are seeing into the dollar index. And I think it will continue to do so because we are seeing quite a shift uh, towards the euro and other safe havens. Uh, the buildups, uh, the long buildups have been going through uh, uh, from past week and it is still continuing. So I think dollar will remain under pressure. And uh, like I said, the probability, uh, the range for the dollar index for the coming one months will be within the range of 95, 90. And uh, it is right now testing, uh, uh, you know, breaching the 93 and heading towards 92. So, yeah, it will remain under pressure for the coming uh, quarters as well. Right. So, what are the strategies that you would want to recommend? Uh, I think with the uh, the behavior that we are seeing into the uh, price momentum into the rupee is uh, opening with a uh, on a weaker note and giving a drastic fallout. But then towards the end of the session, it is reconciling those uh, uh, losses with some green shoot. So probably uh, if uh, rupee uh, today's closure is above 73.15, which is a good sign for the rupee. But if it's open on a weaker note and uh, tested the 72.83, which is a direct support into the rupee. So you can definitely go for a long uh, short you know a small momentum long for 73 73 10 so you can buy on dips of around 72 83 if it opens on a weaker note and test the 72 83 so you can buy from around those levels for a target of 73 73 10 and if this uh, you, along with this there is you can definitely go for a buy of 73 call into the rupee and short of 73 put uh, so you can sell 73 put or you can buy 73 call. Uh, uh, as we are seeing quite a moment, uh, you know, a positive close above 73.15, which was the intraday resistance for the rupee. So uh, as far as other pairs goes, I think JPY INR has shown, uh, uh, you know, has not shown much of a momentum on the upper side. So I think it will remain weak. You can definitely go for a short into the JPY INR uh, below 69. 08 for the target of 68.90 and 68.70 uh, uh, for the coming session. So these two uh, pairs is something you can look out for. Now, uh, as far as Euro INR goes, I think it is a buy on dip. So whenever you uh, get a good selling uh, uh, momentum into the pair, rather going into a falling knife frenzy, you can definitely look out for a bottom out and go for a long into the pair. The numbers uh, of the inflation have been uh, released uh, in the eurozone, uh, though it is not as expected. But I think uh, euro will continue to pick up into the coming sessions. So uh, keep a view of buy on dips into the euro INR for the coming sessions. In fact, uh, we have a question coming in as to what's the bottom that we can see on the dollar rupee pair. The dollar rupee pair bottoming out, I think, uh, 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 for to look out for a bottom into the uh, USD INR, we can definitely, uh, you know, look out the previous lows that the rupee has made. So, uh, right now it is supporting 72 levels. Uh, whether it will bottom out or not, uh, I think it can bottom out around 70 to 75 if uh, the maximum fall that I'm seeing for at least a week is 70 to 75. So 70 to 75 is a major support into the rupee. So that is the level that it should bottom out. If it doesn't happen so, then rupee can definitely head for 70 to 20. But, uh, 
but as far as the closure that has come above 7315 i think it will take quite a uh, you know uh, 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 it for bears to go towards 70 to 75 it will take quite a uh, quite a strong bearish momentum for the rupee to drag that low so that uh, basically 70 to 75 is the major support and that is the turnaround level that we can see for a, a reversal into the rupee right so that's something we should be watching out for but thank you we are so much for joining in thank you participants as well and we will see you back uh, again on the thursday thank you so much Thank you.